everybody, I'm Oliver Neo, and today I'm here with another tutorial. I haven't done a tutorial in a long time, but I'm going to be doing one again because I recently uploaded a Pokemon Go song remix, and um, I don't have After Effects, so I wasn't able to make one of those standard equalizers that you would normally see. But I do have Sony Vegas Pro, which you can still make a good equalizer with. So I'm going to show you the uh, video that I made uh, with this. You can see what the result's going to be kind of like. I'm back. So, yes, they uh, will go to the beats and everything, and it should look pretty good. So what you're going to want is you're going to want the song, you're going... Um, and you're going to want a logo and a background. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the song in Windows Media Player. Um, and you should see that's just blank. It's just blank. So what you're going to want to do is right-click on the screen, then go to Visualizations, Bars and Waves, then Bars. And then you should see it, it, is the, it shows bars. Um, if you want, you can download uh, third-party visualizations like I have. I have um, Trilogy 1, which is a good one. Um, I can leave a link in the description for that. Um, so this is what Trilogy 1 looks like. That's what I, I'm going to be using, but you can use the bars. It doesn't matter. Okay, um, so once you have that, you're going to want to need a screen recorder. And you're basically, all you're going to do is record... Just record um, the song. Just literally just record um, the beats going to the song. Record the full song. Um, then what you're going to want to do is open Vegas Pro. Okay, guys. So I have recorded. Um, I've recorded my video. I recorded it beforehand, but I recorded it and I open Vegas Pro. So what you're going to want to do is or chuck all the files that you just uh, I just showed you. Just put them all into uh, Sony Vegas Pro. Okay guys, so I have them all in except for the song because depending on your screen recorder, it could have recorded um, the actual, it could have recorded um, just the video or could have recorded the song along with the video. Mine recorded the song along with the video, so um, that's what I'm going to do. So first you're going to want to just put your background right in. Um, you probably want to want to extend it uh, depending on the length of your song. Then you're going to want to take your equalizer video and just put that right under like right here. Um, don't match the settings. And what you're going to want to do is you may require some cropping or editing or trimming. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Okay, so once you have all your cropping um, and trimming done, then you... What you're going to want to do is click on this um, little icon right here, the compos compositing mode. Click it, and then click Add. And once you do that, you should see that your equalizer appears on the video. So you can test it, and this is the basic, the basic thing without the icon. Um, this is basically, it's done now. So basically, now what you've done, it's basically done. You can add the logo as well by putting it just under right here. And you're going to want to do the same thing that you did with um, the other one. So just pr click this um, and click add. There. Um, and you're going to want, you, can, you might do some cropping on it uh, if you want to, just to make it a little bit better. Um, better looking so there we go and now we are pretty much done okay guys so that is pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope this tutorial helped you guys out if you have any more questions about this about things you can do um, please ask them in the comments because I will definitely reply 
Like this video if you enjoyed and you want to see more tutorials like this. And subscribe so that if more tutorials come out, you can see them right as they come out. And thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye.